47, this is one of the Mumbai Chawls. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. It might be worth looking into. Well, well. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. I'll never get that scope adjusted with this horrible viewfinder. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local chawl. It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment belonging to Darwood Rangan, but has encountered a problem. Perhaps you can assist him. What I wouldn't give for a world-class sniper rifle right now. Karen Dahl, a.k.a. the Kashmirian, was born in the U.S., but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. But who would want Rangan dead? When are you going to be done mixing those colors? I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. 70% of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. You got it? Fine. a little with my artistic... Hey, Mr. Hussain. Go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. Have a good day. Ah, Mr. Hossein, ready at last. It's me. Did you Just get a shave? You know the oh, well, never mind. To Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. Magnificent use of colors and form. Hey, Kya baat hai? If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Rangan. Hey, what's up? All right. Chalo, let's get this done with. I expect these to be the final brush strokes, Mr. Hussain. All right, you know. Let's see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. Look, hmm. once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But 
if I am already paying you in exposure. Hmm? Well, let's not overdo it. Huh? You know. I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? But sometimes exposure can be worth more than just money. Look, in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you are done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? Thank you. That shot came from the Chauls. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Hold up, 47. The Kashmirian is on the move. He's heading for another flat inside the Chauls. This might be worth investigating. If nothing else, we may get a lead on who his client is. The Kashmirian is moving to an apartment in the Chawl. It's facing the laundry area. I suggest we find out what he's up to, 47. Walking the set after all. <laughs> I thought you said you'd never be on one of Rangan's productions again. No, but what can you do? to see that new Rangan movie they're shooting over at... Sir, you could get yourself killed. Oh my God! I cannot wait to see that new Rangan movie they're shooting over at the tower. On out, 47. It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. It would all be over. So... The Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. Interesting. It recently changed ownership and now belongs to Vanya Shah. It looks like he's found a new target and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't entirely over yet. Sarah, stop acting that way. You're making me pretty uncomfortable. The new foreman looks to be a dedicated worker. He hasn't left the office since he got here. Oh, no, no. That's not it. I was up there in the office when he came in. One of the guards told him that the slum queen wanted to talk to him. The guy turned all grey and started stammering. Wait. He didn't know she had taken over the business? I don't think so. The guard also told him what happened to the previous foreman. I'm pretty sure that's why he's not coming out. So he's waiting for nightfall so he can slip out? Probably. Sadly for him, we work day and night here. He's never here. Not alive, anyway. Uh -huh. Come on, where the give me a break. Are. If I could just find them, it would make my life a lot easier. But the old foreman hid them somewhere. If I knew why, I wouldn't have to look for them, would I? I just want to make sure I understand everything. I show up for the bridge meeting with Miss Shah, and I'm not. How sure. does this, sir? Uh... Well, let's just say I don't want that. <sighs> All right, I'll speak to you later. Surely those logs must be somewhere. Think.
I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Patani, yaar. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? I work 15 hours every day. Aha, pata hai. Just relaying the words of Miss Shah. I think she's hoping this new guy will be liberal with his belt. If you know what I mean. <sighs> Great. Hmm. Vanya Shah is eager to meet the new foreman of the Mumbai laundry business. However, the foreman has taken refuge in his office, unwilling to meet with her at this time. You might be able to use this to your advantage, 47. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. It's better not to cross him about him. Get into trouble. It happened to a lot of people. Chal, good. get a move on. You're not on a break. My arms are so tired. Oi, kapde gande hai abhi bhi. You need to put in more effort. That's not even close to good enough. Hey. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't want to end up like the old foreman. Samja? So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the Queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. Ah, the new foreman finally graces us with his presence. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed I to lure Vanya Shah out weight. into the open. Hmm. Anything could I've happen here. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, Learn everything I can. Analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Fu. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my water? Wasting my money? You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Oh. Oh. That is Vanya Shah taking care of 47. I've got another accident are you here. planning on outsourcing all your work to the Kashmirian from now on? The Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to follow him so far. Maybe he will lead us to the maelstrom.
You don't know me, but your boss will want to talk to me. By now, he should have found out about the unfortunate fates of Rangan Shah. I am the one responsible. Mad? No, no, no. On the contrary, I consider it a successful job interview. Just tell me where to go. Ah, yes, of course. I'll be there in no time. in an hour. I can't go like this. Rangan donated that TV to the people of Islam today. And to hear that serpent Fania Shah talking about how he not a shark in but otherwise unmarked at all, and Vince being an operative in a run world, shadow cartel of unlimited wealth and influence. This statement, which we are not allowed to show for legal reasons, includes this defiant yet Come on, let's see what you have in your pockets today. I'm not exactly enjoying this either, so just stay still and we'll be done soon. Fixing this is uh, not easier than fixing my marriage. So, you're the one who called. The boss was intrigued. You'll see. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. You've got some balls, man. Killing two of the city's most ruthless people is a job interview. <laughs> That's something else. Follow me. Good. It's this way. It's just in here. I'm not being touchy, but I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. Okay, let me just pat you down here. And you're good to go. Chal, nikal. The mysterious stranger enters the lion's den. I guess you know who I am by now. The Maelstrom. Indeed. Two of my most trusted allies are dead. Childhood friends, lifelong companions. And now you're here. I always see my contracts through to the end. <laughs> Admirable. Really, it is. 
I'm assuming Vanya put out the initial contract that drew you here. She never did like Darwin. Perhaps a power play while our plans are in hiatus? But why kill her then? Unless Darwood made a counteroffer. That would be the smart move. But then you heard the rumors about the return of the Maelstrom. And so you took a chance. You figured if Darwood was assassinated, I would put two and two together. Eventually, I would have to teach the Slum Queen a lesson. You took it upon yourself to help me before I asked. A show of skill. A move to get to the top. Is that right, boy? You can only kill so many mobsters before wanting bigger challenges. Darwood and Vanya lost their way once they returned here to Mumbai. I blame myself for their failures. I should not have let them go back without me. They got lost in their egotistical pursuits. Darwood thinking he could use up my legend through his movies. Vanya assuming some mythological regency over the people of the slums. They forgot that which mattered the most. What was that? Legacy. In time, you become your actions. Vanya became cruel. Darwood became a hollow man. I wonder what we will become, what shape we will take in our final days, exposed and roar in the eyes of the universe. We can't stay unseen forever. Death comes for us all, my friend. That it does. You are now one of us. You can walk around freely in the crow's nest. We will need to talk again, but not now. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit.